Okay, so go, doing this, I was like Miami Dolphin, Miami Dolphin talk. I have been talking about for the longest before the season started and during the season. There was things I was like, oh, we need to do for the Miami Dolphins to be good. And you know, we came out with such a like a hot start that guess what? Most people don't want to hear that. Most people are like, no, we don't need a running back. We don't need Taylor. We don't need this. We don't need that. Blah blah blah. Our line is great. We put up seventy points. Then all of a sudden, like, see, told you. Then we got to add beat by Buffalo, and then it was like, uh, okay, cool. So I was like, played the Dolphins today. I mean, played the Giants today, and uh, came out with the victory. Awesome. But before that, we end up getting Jay Claypool. Now, I said we need a big receiver. I I was like, I said that. I said we need a big receiver. I said we need a running back that can just, like, run through the tackle. I was like, Mostert and that's A-Chain. Okay. But that's not, that's not what I'm speaking of. And I was like, big body on defense. Ramsey's going to be that big body in the DBs. We got Claypool. I don't know if that's necessarily solving the problems just because of how the potential what he is and how he actually plays. But he is still 6'4". He still is talented. And if any team I feel like is going to get what you need to get out of him, we're one of those like few teams. The other ones I could think of is like pretty much like the uh, 49ers, you know, you know, something like that where they got really creative like schemes or something like that. Maybe the Seahawks. I can see sort of the Seahawks. You know, he got Matt Cav and they should sort of run wild or whatever. So I maybe maybe that. But anyway, besides that, us. So I I was like, it depends on what you our expectation levels of them is. Which needs to be low. It needs to be low. We just got Cedric Wilson. I was like, he, he started making an appearance today. Awesome. Cool. But he's also like the third, fourth receiver. Because you got the two top dogs, Waddle and Hill. You got Barrio somewhere in there. I was like, uh, Smythe gets, some, gets a little bit of run. We use our running backs in the screen game a lot. So, I was like, Claypool, what I think they should, I was like, I think he'll have a chance because... Since all of them, with everybody's a speed demon, and Claypool's fast, but he's not a speed demon like them. But because you got so much speed, they make everything open. McDaniel's really good at getting, having his receivers get open where you don't have to make yourself get open. And that's sort of a problem that Claypool had is that getting himself open. You would think it would not be that difficult. Or, but I was like, he doesn't, he's not, he doesn't play physical like his 6'4 frame would say. And he's fast at his 6'4 frame, but he's also a guy that's kind of like, he's not a, he's a big body receiver, but he's really somebody that's good, like giving him the ball and then make, let him make play, let him make a move, get him in a screen game, stuff like that. He's, he's, that's really what he more so is than a straight up jump ball type of receiver. Not saying he can't do it, but a lot of times he don't high point the ball. He try to catch it with the body when it's at the, even though you need to catch it at the top. But, I also think that with this team, I was like the concepts that they run and the speed that's there. He should, he probably, he might be able to use his big bodiness a lot more, and he'll have a lot more open field to when he grabs the ball, do something with it. I was like, I think they should sort of use him like a hybrid, like he's not a tight. I was like, he, he's not a tight end, but he's also the size of like a tight end. So I think if they could use him like that, where it's like he'd be bigger than most of them anyway. So I'm like, he's, he'll be good on some form of the goal line. Uh, but you just have a mismatch. We do motion anyway. So I'm like, have, you know, probably have him in the backfield, take him out, guess what? He's on the linebacker now. So we're going to have those type of matchups ready for him. Um, but yeah, I think if, I think if he's sort of in a hybrid, like, like basically how we sort of think that Kyle Pitts should be used in Atlanta. Where he's, you know, that with that type of body, or Darren Waller. To me, that's how you should use Claypool. Use him like, use him like that. Big, big body tight end, but he's really, he, but he's also a receiver. I was like, I think that's something that we don't, we don't have anything like that. Nobody's of that size. So, 
use him when you can, but just don't think that he's about to come here and do anything. Even if we would have, even, I was like, yet alone from how he looked at his other stops, but the fact that he he's not the top dog, dog, dog of the, of the team. It's really the two receivers. Then I'll say probably the running backs before we get to probably Barrios, you know, when we had Craig Kraft and then and Wilson now. So it's all about expectation. But I am I'm I'm excited to see how McDaniels use him. I don't know how well he'll do. I was like, but I want to I do want to see how he gets done cuz I do think he can help in the situations where we'll, where we might where we need it cuz I was like when this goal line you sort of need I was like you really can't do too much there that you can when we're like at our 13 or 40 or whatever where you got all the field. So he'll he'll help in that situation. So I'm 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 settled with that. Anyway, how do you think that Claypool going to be used? Do you like the addition? I was like let me know, get at me. Uh if you like this video, I was like cool, thanks. Uh if not, hey, maybe next time. But until then, I'm out.